Hey guys, welcome to Cricket Fanatics Magazine. I'm here at the Western Province Awards and I'm here with Carl Verena, of course. Carl, welcome to the show again. It's a good time to chat to you. You got picked up at the SA20. Let's start there. <laughs> um, what was your feelings initially? Because you were like, out of that wicket keeper bracket, you were like the only wicket keeper to really get picked in that bracket. I was delighted when I was sitting in the auction room listening to it and when you got picked up. Not going to be in the place that you normally play your cricket, but what is your thoughts on, on the selection? Yeah, I'm quite happy to be going to Joburg, if I'm being honest. Uh, I think it suits my style of play. Um, yeah, and I think uh, playing under Faf again, I played under him a bit at, uh, during the second MSL, so playing under him will be quite nice. Um, but yeah, I'm just really glad that I'll be involved in the tournament. Uh, I think it's going to be really good for uh, Cricket South Africa and just for cricket in this country in general. So yeah, really looking forward to it. It's interesting that you mentioned that to me because I remember that MSL when you were with Faf and how much Faf spoke about you and speaking about it. So can you maybe talk to me a little bit about conversations you've had with him in the past and how are you going to take that learning in the, in the future in your current game? Yeah, I think Faf is someone who uh, likes sort of passing on knowledge. I think that's something that he does really well. Um, I know for myself in particular, when I came into that uh, Paul Rock side, he was very good at just sort of uh, feeding as much information to me as possible. Um, and any questions that I had, he was always um, someone that I could speak to. Um, and yeah, then just going forward in my career, I, I sort of started my international career when he was still still involved um, and then with the test side I think I started when he was still test captain um, so yeah it's, it's nice to sort of be or well, sort of have had that journey um, but yeah just really looking forward to playing under him again I think it'll be quite exciting. I have to talk to you about the test arena and your, your, your experience playing for test cricket I mean obviously that 100 was amazing in New Zealand but how have you found the adjustment to test cricket I mean obviously a lot of pundits and people are going to talk about technique and other things and the moving ball etc but I don't want to talk about it. I want to know your experience from your mentality. How has the experience been in the camp, playing test cricket, the step up, how has it been? Yeah, I mean, test cricket is test cricket. There's a reason that it's called test. It's because it's always going to challenge you. Um, and I think in my brief career, I've sort of found that out. Um, yeah, you don't really, you don't go through one day playing test cricket where uh, your skills aren't tested. Uh, it, yeah, it's, it's really challenging, but I think as a team we've sort of done really well over the last couple of years. Um, we're sitting second on the World Test Championship at the moment, and I think we're third in the world at the moment. Um, so yeah, for a side as a whole, it's been a really good period, um, and yeah, just, just looking forward to the challenges that, that come ahead. And when it comes to focusing, switching your disciplines, playing T20, Test Cricket, and now you're going to switch to SA20 of course, how do you manage to do that in your game, to get that the best out of your game in all formats? I think fortunately uh, my whole career has sort of been played in an era where chopping and changing between formats is sort of the norm. So I think that's something that you sort of, you know, as you develop and, and sort of grow into your game, it's something that you become accustomed to. Um, but yeah, I think with any format of the game, T20, 50 over, Test Cricket, I think the, the basics always stay the same. So yeah, for me it's all about just making sure your basics are always in in order and then yeah, depending on the format you just make adjustments as you go on. So lastly, what have you learned from the England conditions? Because it looked crazy, it looked like it was dipping around a lot. A lot of ball movement off the seam actually more than swing in the air. I don't know if that is true, if, if that was your assessment? I think yeah, there's, the conditions are really challenging. I think the biggest learning that I can take out of that is to accept failure. I think uh, yeah, when the conditions are that tough it's important to stay mentally strong and sort of yeah, if you're going through a tough patch, uh, you just got to stay, stay as strong as possible mentally. Um, and then I think the other thing is just always looking to score. I think, um, yeah, coming up uh, in conditions that are so challenging, you got to cash in whenever you get the chance. Um, any scoring opportunities you got to take. Uh, so for myself, going forward, it's just going to be about making sure that, you know, any sort of format you play, or especially red ball, um, you just always got to look to score because, yeah, if conditions get tough like that. You never know when a ball might have your name on. So you need to score as many runs as you can while. Uh, while the chance is there. Thank you a lot, Carl. Good luck with the season. Cheers. Sweet. Cheers. Shot, bro.